This video is on proof reasons used in two column proofs. So the angle bisector means you have an angle and it is going to be split in two evenly. That means this angle is congruent to this angle. They measure the same. Midpoint means you are a point in the middle of a line, array, or a segment, which means that this side is equal to that side. Supplementary angle means that there are two angles that add up to 180. So if I have 120 this side and 60 on the other and they add up, they are supplementary angles. So an example of the substitution property, if I say x is equal to y and then I say x plus 1 equals 3, I can also say y plus 1 equals 3. I can substitute y where my x was. So that's the substitution property. The transitive property is when you say A is equal to B and B is equal to C, that means I can say that A is also equal to C. So segment bisector means we're splitting it right down the middle. And both sides are equivalent. Complementary angles, those are two angles that add up to 90. So I can say this is 40 and this is 50. So these two angles would add up to 90. Vertical angle, that means when you cross two lines, this angle is equivalent to this angle. Likewise, this angle is equivalent to this angle. So let's say this is 40. This means this side is 40. And then lastly, the reflective property. We have a common line, DE. And what reflective property means is DE is congruent to itself, DE. So here's a brief quiz on common reasons used in proofs. I recommend that you pause the video and see if you can answer the questions. Okay, two angles that add up to 90 degrees. That would be complementary angles. Angles opposite each other when two lines cross. That would be vertical angles. Congruent to itself. The reflective property. Line divides an angle into two equal parts, angle bisector. Two objects congruent to the third, first and third are also congruent. That's the transitive property. Replacement of a piece of equal value. That would be the substitution property. Two angles that add up to 180 degrees supplementary angle. Point on a line segment creates creating two equal parts, a midpoint. And lastly, a line that passes through midpoint of a segment, segment bisector. Any math topics that you would like me to cover, please leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.